Hi, Sagittarius friends. Welcome to Tarot Readings by Roxby. I hope you guys are all doing well. So this is going to be your October 2019 monthly love reading for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising signs. And as a reminder, Sagittarius, if the reading doesn't resonate for you, you know, take what does, leave what doesn't. Please watch your other signs. The Witch's Tarot for you guys. For Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising signs. Sagittarius. Looking at that. You feel good. Sagittarius. Ooh, well that's a nice start for a love reading. Lovers. Three of Pentacles. Temperance. There's you. I love her in this deck. Queen of Cups. Why they call this the Witch's Tarot, I will. I just will never figure out. I understand why they named it this. Seven of Cups. Nine of Swords. Wheel of Fortune. Um, so in the upright, um, fall, winter, and in the reverse, spring, summer. I like the side because we're in fall right now. Really one of the most amazing Wheel of Fortunes for me. I just love it in this deck. Wow, Ten of Cups. Four of Swords. That was just out for Leah. Uh, no, sorry, Taurus. Wow, so was this. That's why I say, listen, if you have Taurus in your chart, that's why it's important to watch your other signs. You know, if you're a Sagittarius, a Taurus in your chart, dealing with a Taurus, you know, you want to definitely, they, they call it cross-watching, you know, you want to watch the other signs. But you definitely have a beautiful new beginning. For some of you, this could be someone new coming in. It's, you know, renewing your relationship, re reconciling with your partner. You guys have a lot going on here. Some of you could be dealing with a Gemini. Some of you definitely could be struggling within your relationship. There is a there is a frustrating vibe to this reading. Now I'm gonna pull additional cards, but you know it could be that this connection doesn't happen as smoothly as you would like.
And for some of you, you know, it is definitely regarding a third party. But for some of you, I do feel like a third party has ended. For others of you, this relationship is going to take some effort, some work. So some of you could be dealing with a Gemini. And then you have your own card. You know telling you first and foremost Sag definitely to be patient you know your overall energy is the ace of cups the queen of cups there is a lot of healing energy here and you know this is your guardian angel always guiding you on the path that you're meant to be on you know guiding you toward your hopes, your wishes, your dreams. There's so much hope. And whatever it is that you're dealing with, with your love life right now, there really is. Ace of Cups, the Queen of Cups, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. There is a lot of healing energy surrounding you guys. You know, you might feel like your world is turned upside down. Or that just things aren't the way they should be. But this is a new beginning. There's This, this absolutely could be a new beginning within your relationship. But you're definitely going to have to to work together and be patient. I feel like some of you want to end things with someone... Again, just try to hold off on doing that. You know, some of you could be dealing with a female water sign, but if you're the female and you have water in your chart, you know, this definitely, you know, could be your energy. But whoever it is, there is a lot of confusion surrounding this person. With the Seven of Cups. Or they have other options in front of them. But with this Nine of Swords here, really, I think someone is extremely confused, worried, too much in the mind. Very confused. Isn't really sure what's happening. Whether it's you or them. You could be confused about this water sign. You know, things are not clear to this water sign. And the Nine of Swords, I mean, that's all. There, there is a lot of worry, fear, and anxiety, stress surrounding this situation. But you are at the end of a cycle. You go from the Nine to the Ten, the Wheel of Fortune. You do have two completion cards here. You know, and you know, and I feel like too with the Seven of Cups and the Nine of Swords, like you're fantasizing. You know, this is a card of uh, it is in your central issue, illusions, fantasies. You know, some of you are worrying, fantasizing that your partner, spouse is cheating on you. You know, you could be feeling as if your marriage is going to end. You know, just fantasizing, fearing. You know, maybe that you're going to end up alone. But just a lot of illusions, fantasies, fear. Definitely. You know, or you're worried about having to make a decision regarding options, 
that are in front of you. A three-party situation, narrowing it down, picking someone. But I feel like whatever it is that you're worried, worrying about, you just can't stop thinking about it. I feel like it actually terrifies you. There's always this, this worrying unnecessarily. And there's definitely a big choice or a decision in love that is definitely needed here. But there is a new beginning. In some way, shape, or form. Seven of Cups, for some of you, or someone is not seeing something clearly because they're too much in their head. They're emotion. They're emotional. You know, again, guys, the Ace of Cups is a beautiful, blessed new beginning on an emotional level. You know, something that's going to make you very happy. Emotionally very happy. You know, but there is something scary surrounding you about your relationship some of you are probably worried that someone is is cheating or an ending is coming and for some of you you're just very emotional that things aren't 100 percent clear to you right now i think you know what you whatever <coughs> I'm so sorry, Sag. This is a very interesting reading. Sag, whatever it is... How do I want to say this? Listen, I don't want to offend you guys. It could be it could be someone else, too. I mean, you have Gemini. I don't know, though, Sag. You do fall right in with this worry, fear, anxiety... I kind of feel like it is you. But guys, listen. I love you guys, you know that. But listen, whatever you are fearing, focusing on, worried about, guys, it is not happening. I cannot stress that enough. Whatever is in your head that you're thinking is happening, it is 100% not. But does there need to be work, effort, put back into this relationship? Hell yes. Definitely. And you do need to be a little bit patient. Don't be thinking to yourself that you need to, you know, let this person go. You know, what you now have down here is really nice. Wheel of Fortune, Karma, Destiny, things happening at the precise moment in time that they're meant to happen. That's now. Big changes for the better. Positive changes. Things turning in your favor. And with the Ten of Cups, are you kidding me? Come on. This is amazing. Marriage. Family. In a love reading, really, this, especially in this deck, happily ever after. <laughs> Come on, you can't even make this up, people. I almost missed this. Look at both of the rainbows. Rainbow could be very significant for some of you. Maybe it symbolizes something. It's really happily ever after. Emotionally being very, very, very happy in a happy place. I think you were, I think I know this isn't reversed, but in this deck, I just feel like you're ready to come out and start communicating. Because I think you have taken the time, some of you, healing energy, healing, healing, healing. You're healing from this Nine of Swords crap.
healing does need to happen. Listen, for a very small number of you, and the only reason why I'm going to bring it up is, is because it's here, it's a general reading, and I have to tell you what I see. For a small, small number of you, there could have been a breakup. It does, you know, represent someone needing time alone, needing to spend time alone, needing some space for themselves to think about things, thinking, uh, you know, about renewing the relationship. You know, if someone did say that they, you know, wanted some time to think about this, they want some space, give it to them. It will be fine. I mean, you have happily ever after sitting right next to the Wheel of Fortune. I mean, hello? <laughs> this is beautiful. Really beautiful. Things are going to work out. I'm going to clarify with you guys with Crystal Visions. But then I'm also going to be pulling you the um, astrology reading cards, but I took out the houses and the planets. All we're dealing with, this is the front of them, are the 12 zodiac signs. Virgo, Cancer, I'm seeing them all there. Oh, here's you all, right here. So, who's your person? Let me, so if you follow me on Facebook Live, you know the card's got to pop for me. So each row. happen. Okay, that's definitely going to be the one. right out Libra seven of Pentacles the devil Wow and the star What Libra in their chart? I'm just curious. Would you got it? Wow. Would you believe you have the Ace of Pentacles under this? <gasps> Listen, for some of you, the time is now. The tower's under here. That's Scorpio season. And strength. Be patient. Just like Temperance is telling you. I think this new beginning, two Aces here. Are you kidding me? Wow. Solid, stable, grounded, new beginning, moving to a new home, moving in with your partner, Scorpio season, which is, starts on the 23rd. Wow. I couldn't make that up if I tried. Okay. So... Interesting. Positive card. I don't know if I feel like that's negative or not. All right. It's like, really, which one are you going to choose? Which one are you going to allow? You know, the, the star card is another card of healing. It's also your wishes and dreams coming true. Sign of Aquarius. 
Capricorn with the devil. And I'm going to be honest, guys. In this deck only, well, I can't say only. I feel like this is a very passionate, lusty relationship. But somebody needs to go. Somebody needs to go. And a choice, a decision between three people needs to happen. Some of you with the devil, again, focusing on your fears, fearing the worst. Like some of you are really fearing the worst possible scenario when it comes to your love, your relationship, marriage. Now, for some of you, it could be that your hopes and wishes... Or for, you know, you're, you're wishing for all of this crap to just disappear from your relationship, marriage. Maybe, you know, you could be in an unhealthy phase in your love life right now. But remember that, you know, the Ace of Cups, a new beginning. Literally overwhelming tears of joy. And then you have the Ace of Pentacles right under that. What are the chances? I mean, really, what are the chances? Rekindling your relationship. I feel like with the Seven of Pentacles, some of you, you do have a big decision, a choice. And I do feel like work needs to be put into this relationship. Patience is absolutely, definitely needed. But you're, you're almost at the end of a cycle. And Sagittarius, I see big, beautiful, amazing changes coming in for you. Maybe you have Libra in your chart. This energy is diplomatic and gracious. I seek harmony and balance in the relationship. And you know what's interesting? Ace of Cups, Ace of Pentacles, the Tower, Strength, and there's your Peace and Harmony. I think if this is a three-party situation, for some of you, you're moving on to the new person. And then those of you that are married are going to move forward past this crap. Because I do feel like there is a passionate connection between maybe this Libra has Aquarius in their chart, vice versa. It could be any one of these signs that has Libra in their chart. But I do feel like, especially this Wheel of Fortune and that tower being under there. Temperance. You are being spiritually and divinely guided. And that, that time frame is Scorpio. It, between Scorpio and Aquarius. Which is the end of December, January. Interesting, but it's all positive. All right, guys, watch your other signs if it didn't resonate. Those of you that follow me on Facebook, I will see you guys live there Wednesday for your weekly general reading. Those of you that do not, I will see you back here soon for your bi-weekly. Absolutely love you guys. Take care. Bye.